Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl Simply Takita and Happy New Year's everybody! <laughs> I could not wait to do this video. Oh my gosh. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I do have recollection on my lips from the new uh, MAC liquid lipsticks that I just posted that review. I did it yesterday on New Year's Eve, but did not get a chance to like edit it and post it. So I just posted today, but you guys, I love these lips, honey. Yes, you know I love it if I wore it like in a video for the next day. But yes, you guys, it is a celebration. And finally, I can announce my winner for my thousand subscriber giveaway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have a little bit that I want to do and share with you guys for this video. So <laughs> I don't want to become sort of the poster child for alcohol. I know that's a little different uh, <laughs> for YouTubers, but I am going to share with you guys a cute little cocktail that you can make either this year for today like if some people have little parties or little get togethers on today or for new year's eve next year and it is called a sparkling cosmopolitan yes y'all know that's my favorite drink and of course the little sparkling part is the champagne and this is my first time getting moet and shondon nectar imperial it is the rose color everybody i mean it's the rose kind everyone was like ooh. <laughs> so yeah I've heard a lot about this I just feel like popping my I feel like a drug dealer doing that so never mind <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys how to make that drink really quickly and then we're going to get into some of my 2016 goals I don't do resolutions but goals so the first thing I have is my handy dandy shaker and I got this for a Christmas gift from my best friend perfect and the first thing you want to do and for the purposes of this particular video, I just have the regular Ciroc, but you know, if you guys want to do a flavor, you can. Um, now, normally, as you guys know, at the bar, there's like a little um, pour at the top of bottles. It makes it easy for you to pull an exact shot. A four count is a shot. It's an ounce. And you would want to do a six count. So we're going to only count to four since I don't have a pour on this and we don't want the vodka to be too much. So literally one, two, three, four, and you're up. The next thing that you want to do is do two parts of cranberry juice and you see it's almost gone that goes to show you how much i drink vodka and cranberry juice don't judge me and you're going to do two parts cranberry juice so one two just literally that much <laughs> now for the sparkling part you guys y'all are gonna have to bear with me and pray for me at the same time. I've never opened champagne and I'm actually a little nervous because I am one of those scaredy cat people that jumps at everything. But let me, I pray to God I don't poke out an eye or anything like that. That is no way to go into the new year. So. You're just going to take the top part off. And you don't want to pop it. And I'm, I'm a little nervous. The funniest thing about this is that even Aries is like backing up. She's a little nervous too. And you just want to. Pop it like that. And now your champagne is open. And you want to put a little bit of champagne in there. I actually have this cute little corker. I'm going to go get it. My best friend gave it to me. It's a wine stopper. And it has like a diamond on top. So that's what I'm going to put it back on here. Because once you pull this out, there's no putting that back in. And you just want to take your shaker. Shake it up. Pick it up. I have my cute little cocktail glass. And... You're going to pour all of that goodness 
in the cocktail glass. Now, never mind that it's only 2 o'clock today. It's a holiday, and it's 5 o'clock somewhere, as they say. So, cheers to 2016, you guys. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. This was my first time trying this, but I've been got this recipe, like, a long time ago. Let's sit that to the side, and let's get into the next phase of this video. Now, one of you commented on a post that I put on Instagram and was like, a resolution or goals video, question mark, question mark, because I was talking about stamps. And I knew I was going to just talk about what I anticipate for this year. Um, really briefly with you guys, I'm not going to go like into deep, deep detail. I do not have resolutions, but one thing that I uh, started doing was setting like yearly goals. And I did not wait until like the end of the year. Like they come to me whenever. Um, I actually had most of these goals probably like by April <laughs> of this year. Um, so a few things that I am anticipating getting accomplished in 2016. I first want to get promoted. Um, so I do want to get promoted at my job. Of course, I want to graduate from grad school. And I just applied for graduation on Monday, you guys. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> and I know it's going to be so bittersweet because... This is my last degree, and this is going to be the first time that I'm, like, not in school in my entire life. And, like, I have no school or education goal, um, really. But, you know, um, I'm thinking about getting a Ph.D. I have three degrees. I have two bachelor's degrees, and I have one master's. Well, I will have a master's. So I'm thinking about getting a Ph.D., but honestly, in my field, I don't need it. So I have to supplement that with something. Honestly, you guys, I do not think I can go the rest of my life without, like, attending a class or something like that. I'm one of those people that love school, so I really don't know how I'm going to cope. I know I'm going to cry. <laughs> I know I am. This is like, it, it, I can't even explain it. Um, so about that post, one of my biggest goals is to travel next year. And honestly, you guys, I have five trips planned. Two are already paid for. One is booked. I have two more that I need to book. And I have two small trips. One to New Jersey for a wedding. And, of course, I'm going to New York for IMAX. That's not including that. I'm going to Atlanta for my birthday. I'm going to Panama in February. That's the first trip of the year uh, with my sorority sisters. I'm going to Hawaii at the end of April for another wedding. I'm going to Jamaica in July for another wedding. <laughs> and my sister is getting her vows renewed so I have four weddings next year but of course in October as a graduation gift to myself I am finally going to Italy I have wanted to go to Italy for so long so I'm finally going on that trip next year and that's not just for 2016 honestly this is my goal for every year here on out I just want to travel a lot more and hit my bucket list places um, the next goal that I have is to save money, to so have a dollar amount that I want to reach. I want to um, strive to like set that kind of goal. Um, to date, honestly, as I always made the excuse that I don't date because of school and I'm too busy, which is the truth, but now that that's over, I guess, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try to date uh, this year. I'm going to see a uh, big thing that I'm really excited about is a new apartment I am going to move into a new place in August in the midst of all of these weddings so pray for me with that um I just want to maintain my happiness I've been extremely happy 2015 has been such a good year and I really just want to maintain that and that's with like people and you know the energy that I let in my presence like I just want to stay happy and drama free and you know just be fabulous that's it that ain't asking too much <laughs> um 
this is a yearly goal. I do spend a lot. As you guys know, all of my videos is mainly hauls or product reviews. So every year, um, I just have the goal to make sure that my credit cards are paid off by year end. Um, for sure. I do pay them off every month, but just in case I, you know, do something, that's the one thing I like to go into the new year debt free, at least like not owing my credit cards, them not being maxed out. Um, I actually have a little credit score just to increase it about 20 points or something I don't even know how I'm going to do it but whatever <laughs> just to increase my credit score and you know uh eliminate in debt I, do I really don't have any channel goals um I feel like I'm just going with the flow on YouTube um so yeah I really don't have any channel goals for you guys but I just hope that I continue to love doing this and that my subscribers continue to stay positive. Like those of you that do interact on my channel have been so positive. Like you guys, y'all words mean so much, believe it or not. Um, I really do appreciate all of the compliments. You guys don't know me. So what you do know about me, I really appreciate the fact that you all choose to see something positive in me instead of something negative. So I really do appreciate you got, you know, your thoughts and kind words and all of the above. I really wish you guys a very blessed and prosperous new year. So that's it for my goals. Like I really don't have too much. I do have some major things like long term, but I don't really have fitness goals either but I have been so focused like working out so it's not something for the new year but I just want to maintain a lot of things I just want to carry over a lot of things going into the new year and I've been working out every day so I'm hoping that I can continue to do that and you know just get healthy and fit and keep you know it's not asking much it's not <laughs> so yeah that is it for that. <laughs> oh, finally, you guys, the last part. And look, I have my confetti. I'm really going to celebrate with you guys. Um, In this cute little bowl is everybody's name. And so how I did this is I cut out these cute little pieces of paper with my cute little scissors. And I put your... YouTube handle, your Instagram name, because I don't think everybody put their Instagram um, handle, and I put the two things that you told me you wanted. Now, for you ladies that did not put anything, I'm not going to pick something out for you. The purpose of this giveaway is for you to choose. So, if you happen to win, I would really appreciate it if you tell me exactly what you want in color and just remember that it must be a color and product that I reviewed. It cannot be MAC but something that I have never tried. It has to be something that I reviewed. So that's just a disclaimer out there. Um and yeah you guys so without further ado in the moment that I've been waiting for I think I've been more excited about picking somebody than any any of you guys I am going to pick. This is my attempt to mix it up. I don't know. Like, everybody's thing looks the same. And the winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway is I am I Candy. IG name is Candy is underscore is living. And she is winning a colored rain liquid lipstick and roulette and mac instigator congratulations candy Woo! that was uh confetti if you guys ain't can't see it <laughs> but what i did not tell you guys is that i hate odd numbers so i'm picking two winners yes everything must be even so we're going to give this a good, and I did not put candies back in there so you guys can see that. <laughs> We're going to give this a good mix up. And let me see who won. And the second winner is Diamond Leo 706 IG Love Mooks. And she is winning Kat Von D, Suspiria, and a Beauty Blender. Congratulations, Diamond Leo. Woo! 
Okay. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Thank you to the two uh, winners. Make sure that you email me at simply Dakita, the number four, at gmail. Um, y'all are so nice with this giveaway, honey. If somebody had a giveaway and let me choose what I wanted, I'd have chose everything designer. <laughs> and after like the, the first six people, I was like, oh, ain't nobody gonna choose Christian Louboutin. And then I eventually got like one or two people that chose that. But looking at the winners and the items that they chose, I had a certain budget for my giveaway, and that will nowhere near clear the budget that I had. So I'm going to pick two more people and I'm just going to do this random. First person that I picked up is Curly Girl Shauna. Um, her Instagram is Curly Girl underscore Shauna. And she wanted the Inglot 410 and MAC World lipstick. So congratulations, Curly Girl Shauna. And the second person... That I am picking up. Gotta mix it up real good. Second person that I am picking up is Nicole underscore right. And her IG is I Love Lipstick. And she wanted the Versace Bright Crystal and Mayel Organics Deep Conditioner. So congratulations, Nicole. Um, you guys, make sure that you email me your shipping address. And yeah, I that's a total of four people out of the 16 people that um, entered the giveaway. So yeah, I'm happy. And I told you guys that if you see something else new that I just reviewed or... Um, you know, have changed your mind about the gift that you want, you could definitely let me know in the email. So thank you to those two subscribers who won. Congratulations. And you guys that did not win, definitely am going to be doing another giveaway real soon. And I decided that I am going to keep with this theme like for my giveaways especially because they're not sponsored by anybody or any product um they're going to always be a you choose whatever product that you want the thing that's going to change is how you can enter as well as the number of items you can get this has been really 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 exciting for me and i really do thank you guys again for watching for subscribing to my channel for believing in a sister when i didn't have no whole bunch of followers so that means that you guys really genuinely like me for me <laughs> so until the next time you guys uh, make sure that you thumbs up this video I will announce on snapchat that the video has posted as well as Instagram um, and until the next time you guys bye beauty oh, now that that's over who the hell gonna clean up all this damn confetti <laughs> I didn't think about that. I feel like I really didn't think this through. God damn it. And I have carpet. This is not going to be good. Oh. Hmm. This is really good.